after I already covered the wall in fucking sticko. What? We're, we're not making fun of you. W w what the fuck is sticko? Graffiti trick, dumbass. You cover the wall in invisible sticko during the day, then at night you come back to do graffiti and the paint only sticks to the sticko. Okay, so what? You ran out of paint? Listen, you're talking to the right guy. I, I, I can help. I was as good at these as you. You're really good. Did you go to puzzle school? Oh boy, this is a hard one. Please hurry up, my family could be dying! to think of 
about my wife's body ripped in half by Douglas's torture devices, and it's not working, to be honest! I've decided that if my family is dead, I'm going to kill myself and join them in the afterlife. Don't talk me out of it! This is what love does to a person! Feel bad if it takes you a while. It's tough, right? Okay, I know that earlier I said don't feel bad if this puzzle takes you a while, but I also want you to remember every second you take solving this is another second Douglas might be torturing and killing my family! You can do it! Oh, I can't wait to see my little flimmy, proppy, and droopy! Thank <laughs> you. 
You know I had a pretty good feeling you were fucking with me. Don't think you pulled one over on me because you definitely did. trying to get me all excited and withhold the big climax i need to come it's bad for my health Shit, let's go. What? No hello? Nice to meet you, or thank you for saving me? Why? Like you not dying there with some sort of favor to me? Hi, I'm Fusey. Thank so much for rescuing me. How is that, dipshit? Now come on, use my time bubble to escape through the big fan in the corner. Pretty cool, right? You're gonna find out real fast that I'm the best Gatlian, smartest, most useful, best looking. No, no, come on, come on, I'm pretty good. Douglas, it's Garmentuous. Where the fuck are you? I heard you made a complete fool of yourself at that party last night. Not good. Oh, shit. I think that's a photo of the famous dude who invented the translator micros.
got that dipshit? You turn in the bounty somewhere? Go do that. We can wrap this up. Come on. Good. Get over here. Check this out. That's Clug Nugman, Blim City Magistrate. As you all know, I'm working hard to flush out all the crime and drugs from our streets. I'll be the first to admit, we haven't made much headway in the fight against the G3 cartel. All right, all right. now catch this next bit. It's all about to change. We've learned of a bold bounty hunter who's been bravely taking this G3 matter into their own hands. You hear that? He's talking about you! They've already dealt with two of the cartel's most powerful officers. Yeah, you got lucky. I am not too proud to ask for help in our war on drugs. Bounty Hunter, if you're listening, please consider joining forces with the good people of Blim City. I hope you'll choose to come forward and meet with me personally at my office in City Hall. Holy shit, should we go see him? I already told him you go. What? No, don't start. Trust me, he's legit. This guy's been anti-G3 since before any of you were even in diapers. Honestly, I don't know if Gatlin's even wear diapers. Head through there. Clug's expecting you. Sorry for making the call without you, but uh, Clug's a good man. Thank you so much for coming, Bounty Hunter. No problem. It's, 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 it's nice to meet you, sir. Look, I'll cut to the chase. I need your help. You're a human, correct? My men looked into it. Sorry. 
You survived the G3's attack on your home planet Earth, right? Well, we, we, we're, we're Gadlians, but, uh... Of course. Sorry. I'm familiar with your plight as well. It's such a tragedy what happened on Gatlas. It makes much sense that you and the human would join forces, but perhaps you have room for one more ally as well? But, but you're a big-name politician, and we're out there, you know, killing people. Like, wouldn't that look bad? That's precisely why I need your help. I'm having the darndest time curbing the species drug trade. I can only do so much, and only within the confines of the law. I mean, I've got my hands full with Gary the Poisoner. He's not just poisoning the water supply, he's moved on to poisoning weirder stuff now, like street lamps. We don't even know how that works, or if it's actually a problem. Maybe it's fine to poison street lamps. I'm a bit overwhelmed, and I wish I could focus more time on the G3. But you, you've taken up two top G3 officers in less time than it takes us to file a single report. So you see how you can help me, but there's also one way I can help you. Okay, we're, we're listening. This tool on my desk here will help you rescue your fellow humans. You can use it to teleport them to a safe haven my team has arranged for them to stay at until the G3 are dealt with. Wow, that, that, that's really helpful. You're just giving it to us? Well, the human species is technically a drug. I can't have dangerous sentient drugs in the hands of my citizens, and you can't have your people getting captured and consumed. This solves both of our problems, assuming you plan to continue taking out the G3. We absolutely do. Then, thank you. Sincerely, you humans and Gatlians, you're both very noble species. This means a lot to me. I've made it my life's work to use my power to help people in need, but even I have my limits. I'm just glad I have someone like you to turn to. As a token of thanks, my team will be feeding any intel we find on the G3 directly to your handler, Mr. Zaruthian. We've already sent him everything we had. The rest is in your hands. Thank you so much, Mr. Nugman. That's all I have for you. Feel free to stay as long as you like. The view is breathtaking. Uh, feel free to stay as long as you like. All right, we're back. So, it went well, huh? I got a message saying they'll hook us up with any G3 intel they find. Yeah, not only that, he gave us a way to save humans. God damn. You got it easy. Nothing as convenient as this ever happened when I was bounty hunting. Yeah, speaking of... We should get you a jetpack before you head back out into the field. You're really gonna need it. Head on down to the pawn shop and see if they got one in stock. Oh, and yeah, you might want to hit up Bordeaux's chef stand, too. It's a little shady, but uh, those warp discs he's selling can be pretty helpful. Want to do some perfectly legal business? There's my favorite bounty hunter! Let's keep it moving. Yeah, yeah, hurry. Excellent! Good day to you, food customer. Concession man. Here's what's up. My name's Stan, and I sell vials of alien cum. I know that's probably not what you wanted to hear when you walked over here. You wanted cum or what? Fucking hell yeah, we'll buy some alien cum. Wow, you just went right for it. Didn't even ask any questions. <laughs> Didn't even ask how much it costs. Ha <laughs> ha! I knew I was right about you. I knew you loved alien cum. Well, here, have this alien cum on the house. Just tell all your friends about me. Say Stan 
Island has the absolute best alien cum I've ever seen, tasted, touched, whatever. I'm not sure if it's his or if he's getting it from some other alien, but I'm just such a huge fan of his work and what he's doing out there on the streets of Flam City selling alien cum to the community. Say all of that. Ah, looking for more alien cum, are you? Well, I'm sorry. I'm fresh out of alien cum right now. We s Okay, you saunter away. I wasn't saying nothing. Hey, you got any uh, jetpacks in stock? A jetpack? Oh, certainly. I can help. Uh, I can help. Tell the customer to stop climbing on our shelf. No, I think it's cool they're doing that. I think it kicks serious ass. Great. Now I can keep a ah, jetpack, huh? Great choice. Really phenomenal choice. Let's lock that purchase in. Okay, great. So where where's the jetpack? Not so fast. I gotta back order that bad boy. I'll have it ready for you in a couple of days, I promise. No refunds, by the way. This purchase is final. Fuck! God damn it. Okay, well let's let's just give Gene the update. Oh, are you still looking? No, I'm not shooting this one. To go. Did you get a jetpack? Yeah, but it's on back order. Great. Perfect excuse for a rest. We're still waiting on Clug's intel anyway. Why don't you go to bed and sleep off some of that excitement? Gene's right. That, that's, that sounds like a good idea. So, uh, what kind of stuff did you do in here? Like, anything gross? Y you have to tell me. Like, seriously, come on. We're best friends now. Hey, good night, partner. I'm just gonna sit right here and watch you fall asleep. I'm really glad we met. No, I, I think I think we're doing something amazing here. How cool would it be if we actually stopped the G3? Sorry, sorry, I, 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 I'm just, I'm excited. I'll shut up, L let's get some sleep. Pretty soon, you know, we'll be jetpacking across all the space. Sorry, I'm, I'm being too loud. You're probably trying to, let's get you to sleep. Let's take this jetpack for a spin. Can you make it over that gap? Holy shit, this rules! Are we still recording? Nice! I just was telling you personally. I was excited. I didn't want to do this one for the show. This is we're off. Turn off the cameras. I, I just let me turn off the camera. Yeah, it's just I feel like we used to do this off camera and it was more fun, but now that we made it our job, it just feels suffocating. Is this not a scripted show? Is it
Oh, check out that landing. God damn. Well, I gotta tell you, Gene was right. That is gonna come in handy. It's also fun. You can fly while doing combat. It's a very cool uh, feature that we have here. We put a lot of time and effort into it. Let's head back and talk to Gene and see if there's any new bounties. Take a quick break from killing. You know, it's not gonna kill you. I've been telling you to clean up. This place is a mess. I need you to clean it up before Tweet gets here. Oh, got a big date with your sad sack Flimborg boy toy? Fuck off, Gene. Like you've even ever been on a date. Hey, don't even start, sister. I know a lot about dates. I fucked more aliens than your brain can comprehend. And even I don't want to touch your boyfriend. I'm so sick of hearing about this guy. Yeah, right. My boyfriend is so fucking hot though, right? Oh, come on. You haven't even seen him. Why'd you answer that? Trust me, you don't have to support her just because she's family. This guy's a loser. He so hot. He's like a low seven or a high six. And he's really nice to me. Yeah, no ulterior motives there. Just clean up after yourself, Jesus. Hey, look, I'm sorry if I'm coming off harsh. He's messing up the group dynamic. We've got a good thing going here. We do that fun sitcom banter back and forth while your nibbling here goes and blasts alien baddies in the face. It's great. Dude, you're lucky you even get to live here with us. I don't care about your damn dynamics. I'm just saying you barely know this guy. Are you sure you're even attracted to him? Most aliens only bang their own species. Oh, what about you? You just said you've slept with basically everything in the whole galaxy. Yeah, but I'm a washed up degenerate. You've got your whole life ahead of you. That's more condescending than it is sweet. What? No, uh, look, we've spent all this time living together. I, I care about you now, Leslie. For fuck's sake, my name's Lizzie. Come on, tell her I care about her. Excuse me? <laughs> no, sorry. But I am not about to let this fuck-up degenerate school me on life decisions. The fact that I'm a fuck-up degenerate is exactly why you should let me school you on life decisions. I, I know better than anyone what not to do. You're both assholes. Yeah? Well, you're gonna get this twee guy pregnant. And then I'll be here to tell you I told you so. Then who's gonna have to deal with all your mutant kids running around this house? Me! Yeah, not that it matters, but I'm the one who would get pregnant. Not the way his species works. They get pregnant real easy. I'm so sick of this shit. Look, I just don't want Twig to think I'm messy, okay? It's that simple. And I don't want you dating him at all. Why don't I set you up with my nephew, Grimble Dick? He's got a steady job. And yes, before you ask, he's got both his legs. That's not like a family ailment or anything. Fuck off! Just grow up and get used to me and Twig! Come on, tell Jean I can date whoever I want. Well, geez. I don't know why you're being so critical of me. I mean, I'm your own sister. And I'm the only human you've got left that's not getting smoked by giant space slugs. Wow. Yeah, uh, she's right. Real cold of you. Just kidding. She's wrong and you made the right choice. Just clean up, Jean. Okay? Sorry to drag you into all that. Anyway, a nice little arrangement with Clug is paying off. They sent us intel on two new bounties. So, uh, go ahead if you want to get started on those. Dispatch on the 
Well, hey, this seems pretty nice. You know, I, I bet all the humans are really happy here. I tried reserving the sex room, but the waiting list is really long, and they only let one person in at a time. I don't think they know how we have sex. There's a doctor here giving free checkup. Got my first physical in years. The doctor didn't really understand the human body, so I don't think it helped at all. But hey, free checkup. The toilets here are just out in the open. No dividers. But honestly, we all got used to it real quick. Now it's a fun thing like, hey, Toby's taking a shit. Let's all watch. Oh, so let me let me get this straight. You like it here? Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a lot better than being trapped in a cage. You, so oh, yeah, you're the it. one that's I like it here a lot more. I get it. A lot more than being trapped in a cage. We get 12 full meals a day. None of us have the heart to tell them we don't need to eat that much. This place? I don't know. This place is cool. They gave us free air massages. Yeah, I keep telling them it's not really something that humans like, but they keep offering them, so I keep taking them. Dispatch 146. We have a double DOA 1052 call. 